Hello everyone, the worm is back for some more Raging Loop. And last time, uh, I actually forgot to <laughs> summarize what had happened the previous time. So there's the last time and then the previous time. Um, and I, I wanted to uh, move on to a point where we weren't hearing the uh, the van, and so I had to, you know, wait. And I kept waiting, and eventually I forgot. So uh, before moving on, I'd like to quickly remind myself what went on the the time before last, as well as the last time. So uh, we we went through Kamafujiyoshi, and we actually got more of a look than I thought we were going to get, considering how it seemed, uh, based on the amount of time it seemed we were going to be spending there. We were just trying to get through it. Fortunately, we got to a, a better look, and we got to meet another head of the families. We know, of course, already Rikako Imatsu. Now we've gotten to meet... Mr. Shoji Higuchi, who is perhaps the uncle of Yasunaga and Yoshitsugu. I'm guessing he's their uncle. Don't know for sure. Maybe, you know, he could have been either the brother or maybe even cousin to uh, whomever Kaori was married to. But in any case, we got to meet him. Um, he seems to be a kind of conniving figure, and he immediately decided to have uh, our boy here, Arwaki, thrown into the uh, the meat grinder. So you know, obviously he's up to no good. Uh, I think at the time I even said I could believe he would he could do something like maybe. Uh, killed Yasunaga and Yoshitsugu's father and then have them and Kaori banished to Yasumizu so he could become the head. There, there's no evidence of that whatsoever. It's just, I could totally believe it just by looking at him. Um, and I think it's somewhat I think it's somewhat likely that he knows what's going on here. You know, I'm, I after that whole Kamafuji Yoshi episode, I'm more convinced of the Kamafuji Yoshi conspiracy than I was previously. Um, and we got to see a bit of the layout of Kamafuji Yoshi. We know they have a dining hall, similar to how Yasu uh, Mizu has a dining hall, which the Higushi run. And yeah, so just little bits and bobs of the culture. You know, they play the uh, nursery rhyme as they do here in Yasumizu. You know, all that good stuff. So, glad to get that. And then we traveled here, and we are now in Yasumizu. Got to see Rikako, who was trying her best to be a bit creepy, but unfortunately she's just a bit too clumsy for that and ended up hurting herself. Which, you know, it, it's... It's a, uh, it's somewhat endearing, you know. She, she's trying her best, but uh, <laughs> doesn't always go that well. Um, also, I was informed by Amber, I believe it was, who um, reminded me that the journalists have been here before. So, I know last time I was kind of going on a, a bit of a. Uh, tangent where I was suspecting, you know, Mamiya of having some kind of connection. And really, it just seems like she's familiar with this place because she's been here before, so that's, that's, that makes sense, that's obvious. I had forgotten that, uh, and I had never written it down, so, because <laughs> I went back to look and I just saw the general sort of outline where Hey, she's a food journalist. She's here in Yasumizu for some local delicacies. All you know, all that sort of stuff. But yeah, I mean, we didn't get much time to spend with them, so I guess I just never uh, picked up on that detail. So uh, good to know. 
And the big thing I want to talk about that happened last time was we had our reunion with Chammy. And that was a scene, man. That was... That was somewhat heavy. Um, I think Haruaki's... Um, what would it be? Intuition that Chammy may seem... Chammy or her soul or, you know, whatever's going on here. Something about her seems to remember what has previously occurred. And so when she saw Haruaki, um, she began to cry, but she doesn't know why. Which is just, you know, if... If there's been anything to tug on your heartstrings so far, that would certainly be it, I feel. Um, now, of course, Haruaki is... He is, he is driven. He is, he is a strong will. So he was able to navigate that fairly well. And he, you know, left relatively quickly. He, he didn't linger. He, he left Chiami and has decided to, you know, he's attempting to get a, a house, you know, because that's obviously part of the plan. But, uh, man, I would, I don't, I, I mentioned last time, I don't know how I would react, but to, to be able to just leave her so quickly, um, yeah, not an, not an easy thing, I think. And he made an interesting point, and I want to bring this up, actually. He, he said, uh, what was it? He said a few things, like suspension bridge effect, and, uh, basically he was saying how... He, he didn't want to be in a relationship with her that was caused by the circumstances, right? So he, you know, it's, they're, they're in this crazy, abnormal situation, and they both kind of like each other, but, you know, how do they really know they like each other when it could just be they're feeling desperate and are getting together because of that rather than actually liking each other. So that's an interesting idea, I think, and it's a mature one and a far-sighted one. He, he's just, Haraki is just a, he's got a good head on his shoulders, I'll, I'll say that much. Um, but it's also kind of calculating a bit, you know? He's, I don't know, I don't know, it's just, it's definitely quite a way to look at things. But it makes sense. And so, and, and he did say he would like to try again um, when the situation has been resolved. So that's that's obviously good, and I'm, I'm rooting for that. I, I hope they're able to try again when the situation is better. That's why I'm, I'm very afraid of whether we're going to do the whole wolf switcheroo, but, you know, I've already talked about that. I don't need to go into that again. So, let's continue on. We need to meet the rest of the Yasumizu crew, and we need to get ourselves a house before dark. So let's let's go ahead and get to that, shall we? Anyway, just like I said, I first went to Uematsu-san's house. Obviously, it didn't seem like there were many people inside. I hesitated for a moment, but ended up knocking. Doing this right? Looks like it. That was Mako's voice. Could she even understand me? Saki, Fusai Shi to Nanotta Mono Deskedo. Nanotta Mono san? Exactly, you got it. Yeah, ah, uh, Edo. Fusai Shi Haruaki. Kokoni Obachan Kiteru? Kitenai. Oh, so I was off the mark. Wakata. Sorry, Jane. お兄ちゃん。ふさあきさん。ふさゆきさん。ウォーン。ちょっと。お待ちください。お、ウマツさん。She told me to wait, so I did. Soon enough, the door opened up. 
しましたそれで何だったでしょう Oh, you're fine, Rikako. We're, we're looking for Tai, actually. Yamawachi san ni aita in desga. Saki anna yosu datta shi. Kotchi ni korarete nai ka to omoi mashte. Mada omie ni narimase. Mitai desu ne. Sore ja. Iya. Ano. Yamawachi sama ni. Nan no goyo datta ka. Nado no. ああいや一応こっちに住むことになったんですが住む場所がまだ決まってないんですよね住まわれるええそれで相談を<笑> What did she mean by this? でも宿なしはいけませんええ夕霧立てば宴の支度と申しまして。うん、yes, that is the plan. That made me flinch. Did it show on my face? 不治よしのものは、霧を不吉なものと習います。霧が立つ日は、身を清めて、閉じこもって、早寝して過ごすのが、常でございます。Well, thank you for telling me. This is information I absolutely did not know. Thank you for introducing the newcomer. Yes. Cleanse Sheltered Dream. それは面白い風習ですね。That was what I would have thought if I didn't know about the tragedy. あの、差し出がましいかもしれませんが、空き家なら一軒、心当たりが。She told Mako to entertain herself and took a key from her house. Instead of telling me about it, she insisted on going outside despite my polite protests. I had no choice but to follow after. We passed the plaza, went down the hill. She tripped two times. He died. They saw me. Kurobuno. Atama Utsuno. Tsune de Sunode. Hmm. I'm, not, I'm not sure that's something you should、uh, get used to, ma'am. What, tripping? That seems like a very terrible tradition. Oh. Interesting. The spider are bedroom woman servants. Okay. That was a new term. Bedroom woman servants. Women who served you in the bedroom? That sure sounded sexy. And the spider was one of the guardians of Great Lord Shinai. That reminded me. Chimmy had told me that the Uematsu were a family of the spider. Yomi no ki wa. Saranaga yori waki. Mazu wa hito no shoki o mushibamu to yimasu. Hmm. Well, I don't know about first and foremost, but we definitely did, in fact, see madness. It was from you, of all people. Soko kara. Katsute uematsuke wa. Yaban to shite. Hmm. Mura no yume mi o mamoru. So, is this what Tai was referring to back then?、Uh, tai, at one point in the original route we did, mentioned, you know, after Rokako had zombified, I, I can't think of a better term for it. Tai said. Something like she had been taking it on the corruption herself or, or doing something. something like that. Is this what she was referring to? Mm hmm. Were they like night watchmen or something? It wouldn't have been weird for a police like force to still retain power in this day and age. Demo yoru da to sen pa sen to korobu kara, hiru ni mi mawari o sarete yuru to. 
Was she all right? ちなみに、今、長者と呼ばれている人たちみんな、そういう言われみたいなものを持ってるってことですかはい。よく知っておいでですね。Well, we, so we got Rakako, I guess, Night Watchman,、uh, which is not something I had in mind. We have Higuchi, who does dining hall stuff. We saw that with Kaori and Shoji. I believe Shoji mentioned something about Miguruma, but I don't recall at the moment what they do specifically. Kami Fujiyoshi was told that he was a very good person. 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 火を使っちゃならなかったのをこっそり使ってたとかなんとかえ水場と偽って火を焚くことを人に教えたのが猿であったと。伝わっておりますうんさっきいたのは野里さんでしたっけあの人も長者だとか野里家はカラス軒のはみ手。ピンときません。シカバネオ、ヨミビトカドーカ、ケンブンスリアク。They performed autopsies, that didn't seem very important. ジッサイマ、クスシ、ブシワ、ウズトモヨバレ、カレラノミガ。なるほど。もう一つは、なんて言いましたっけミグルマ。ミグルマ。And we were told that no one here is of the Miguruma, right? Yeah. Right. I hadn't met a single person linked to that one. ヘビは、クラノミハリ。Which makes me think, it would seem a bit weird if there was an odd one out, right? I don't know, maybe old man is a Miguruma. ウエマツは見張りの家ではありませんから。Maybe it could be old man because he's the one that always shouts the wolves are coming. So maybe he's the lookout and he. That's the hint. <laughs> 食料版ですかい,いえ。クラというのはヤグラのことです。じゃあ、軍事的な。Hmm. い,いえ。かつてヤグラを組んで星を見たと暦、うん、を作り天候を読み工作の目当てをつけたと伝えられますその職能は畏敬を受けやがて新内様の神官としての役目も担うなるほど。Oops. Sorry, Rikako. We had our TV weather ladies now, but back in the day, astronomy and meteorology. Meteorology, yes. were linked to divination, leading many to consider them special powers that let them predict the future and bring good things in general. Farming was the building block of civilization, having it was a matter of life and death, so it was only natural for those who offered guidance in that field to become leaders. 
深い歴史のある土地なんですね愛着が湧きそうですそうですか初めて言われました本当ですか普通に興味深いですが藤吉の生まれてない人にお話ししたことがありませんので、うん、getting a new perspective All right. She'd refused to go into detail last time. Infiltrating the village really was a good idea, huh? So, go stay in the chin. Ski master. Are this? Check it out. So, this is going to be our pad. Nice. Our shack. I like it. I think this will do nicely. Tashka ni so go stay in the chin. 別に変なことはしてません。Her speech was still odd. What the hell was up with her imagination? She could send a, my verbal curveballs to another dimension. Anyway, there was a wooden house. It was much like the ones near the plaza, except a bit more aged. It looked relatively stable, though. 実のところ、藤吉の多くは、樋口。の里、植松の私有地なのです。But not the Miguruma, huh? 藤吉村の所有になっているのは、oh, okay. ミグルマのかつての私有地であり、代々村長を務めるミグルマ家に属するものとみなされています。That was new to me. つまり。ここもリカコさんの土地なんですね。What? あ,あ、すみません。慣れ慣れしく呼んでしまいました。いいいいのですが、土地はその通りでして、ここの方は少し前までお元気に。住んでらしたのです。OK。うん。それじゃあ、今はお亡くなりにはい。大王女でした。うん。That sounded like a real blessing here in Yasumizu。気にされますか一応、中は、きれいにしてあるのですが。I'd have been lying if I said I wasn't bothered, but I chose to take a look. She hadn't been kidding. The inside was shabby and the wood was aged, but the floor was clean and I couldn't see much dust. The tatami was new, too, though that meant it had to be changed. But at least there wasn't some human shaped mark on the floor. There was no furniture, but I could easily get a futon or something. フロアガスは外してると思います。Great. そりゃ大変だ。霧が出たらまずい。みそぎですかそこの水桶けに井戸水を汲んで体を拭けばよろしいです。そんなもんでいいんですかはい。かつては、弱みの習慣は、藤吉にはなかったと聞いています。うん。あ、そうか。火は水場でしか使っちゃダメだから。その通りです。That made sense. Anyway, now I was now ready. 本当に使ってもいいんですかはい。日頃掃除をしてきた。甲斐がありましたえあなたが手塚ら、uh, well, れを引き取るのも植松家の役目なのです、mm. それに手を動かしていた方が気が紛れることもあります何かお辛いことが
She fell silent. すみません。無神経だったかな。いえ。何かあったわけじゃなく。何か。起きるのが。怖くて。Of what probably will happen. She looked at the mountain beyond the valley. No, it was the valley itself and the Saranaga Rapids at the bottom. さっきの話、蔵の見張りの見車家は、例えば天気のこととかを今でも予想してたりするんです Part of me thought I might be prying too deeply. 春と秋のお祭りで、五穀豊穣を願い、舞を奉納し、ノリトを読んでおりますそれは昔の行いを真似ていると聞きます幸いにして大きな日照りや飢饉は起きておりませんなるほどじゃあある意味百発百中なんだ<笑>山脇様はお詳しいですのでそちらに聞かれてはきっと喜ばれます。Hmm. Okay. That seemed true. とこのままだと時間が過ぎるばかりだ。植松さん、本当にありがとうございます。この恩には必ず報います。私こそあのような恥ずかしいところを助けていただきどうしたらよいか、hmm. Wasn't she basically blaming me here? いろいろありましたけどこれからもよろしくお願いしますお役に立てることがあれば何でも言ってくださいねうさいしさまあそれ柄でもないんでどうか呼び捨てでも何でもしてください。敬語もいらないですよ。You're moving a bit too quickly for her, Haruaki. Crap. ふさいし。無理。無理。ふさいし様。私の。むしろ。私など。いかようにでもお呼びを。Was I actually raising some flags here? Yeah, I'd be careful. <laughs> careful what route you're getting on here. Was the game this easy these days? Did she seriously fall in love over a bit of help over a head injury? Was this a soap opera or something? Well, not that I was complaining. じゃあ、リカコさん。Careful, I, I feel like she might faint. No, this was something else. She was just especially vulnerable to men. As a family head, she was probably revered, either revered at a distance or considered an enemy.、Uh, Takumi did the latter. She'd probably never talk to someone who didn't care about those things. That actually made me feel kind of bad for her. オーケーじゃあ、植松さんふさいしさんだ。これで呼び合って、お友達になりましょう。ぜひ。はあ、お友達です。こ、こ、こちらこそ、ぜひ。In a part of the village with no one but us, we exchanged a deep bow. Uematsu san then returned, and I checked out the house for any holes. Seemed fine on that front, no monsters could get inside. Anyway, I had my place. Now, I had to get one for Mamiya san and Hashimoto san. Okay. Oh, yeah, this track again. I like it. I like this track. Okay, I tried to think of a way to encourage them to leave before the mist came, but all the things I could think of seemed unnatural. 
That meant my only option was the opposite. Convincing them there was no way to leave, so they'd have to stay. Honestly, I did consider just letting them die. Ooh. Stone cold. As long as I survived, I didn't really care if they did. Oof. Oof. Kinda harsh, gotta say. But... That didn't sit right with me. I, I would hope it, it wouldn't. I wasn't a good guy, but not doing whatever I could right now seemed careless. My ultimate goal was to escape. Excuse me. My ultimate goal was to escape the loops, but at the moment, all I could really do was prevent the tragedy before me. I'd think of something else if it didn't just work out, but for now, I had no reason to abandon my humanity. That was why I returned to the plaza. It was still really empty, and the two journalists were probably working. This was my chance. I approached the left back wheel on Hashimoto Shi's van. Reaching into my bag, I pulled out a hammer and the nails I'd bought. I placed the tip of the nail against the tire and hammered it in. You could hear the sound of air leaving. That had to be good enough. I then did the same with the other rear tire, as well as one of the front ones. There. After that, I added a random array of extra nails around those to make it seem like a, a trap or something had been run over in the grass. They couldn't leave now. I already knew they didn't have anything that could fix the tires, so they couldn't get... Oh, excuse me. And they couldn't get in touch with any road service until after the miss had passed. If someone from Kamifujiyoshi came to pick them up and they left without their car, they, that would have been fine, too. Not that I expected anyone to come. Now I just had to convince them to stay here. It was a really haphazard plan. It seemed like the locals trapped them on purpose. I'd have to think of something to say about that. Anyway, I did what I could for them. Now I just had to wait and... <laughs> my heart almost burst out of my chest. Did she see you do that? That, huh? Well, I was uh, pretty hungry myself, too. Wait, there was something more important to worry about. Had she seen me? What the hell was up with this pressure? Was it some kind of Kamufujiyoshi head superpower? Was she waiting for me to confess or something? I had to no choice but to think of a new lie. Uh, but looking at her red eyes made me feel like she'd seen through any bullshit I spun. Crap, maybe I should just come clean and... Was she actually not thinking anything? Did she think I was as old as Mako? Chigaimasio. <laughs> Indeed, yes. Hmm. I'm noticing a theme here. Man, what the hell was with her appearances this time around? Oh yeah, I couldn't lie. This conversation was pretty messed up. Hisako-san was completely perplexed. 
I still couldn't read his expression, but I could totally sympathize with someone being basically stranded in a place like this. You have experience, yes. They weren't suspicious of me, so I just acted like an innocent, sympathetic bystander. Oh, the heartache.今日は完結で帰る予定でしたけど、どうします but I shouldn't feel guilty about this. If I just ignored them, they'd have been torn apart by a monster. Those words made me twitch. ひとつならスペアがあったけど。ロードサービスに連絡しましょう。オリベさん、電話かしてもらえますかええ、もちろんです。こちらへ。They all returned to the dining hall. なんだか、君が悪いわね。Ah, uh, well, in this instance... You should probably trust that feeling. I was left alone with a peculiar duo, but then we were joined by a muscly silhouette who'd come from the fields. Hello, Takumi. It's good to see you again. I hope we will be able to have a more amicable relationship. Considering last time you were completely suspicious of me from the very beginning and throughout the entire thing, which, you know, fair enough, but, you know, I'm willing to let bygones be bygones. She went out of her way to introduce me, though she still couldn't leave off the, uh, Sama. どうかよろしくお願いします。ああ、例の室田久光つもんだ。よろしく。神藤義の門には見えないが、よそからか。珍しいな。木の毒に。へい、イズ。いや。ゆるりはとゥドゥサムイングアバウトデアハビットオブショ
二人のでけえ息子とみんなの胃袋をあの細腕で支えてる香織さんに妙な目的で近づく男は問答無用でぶっ殺す Don't you think you could, you know, be in a better position to do that if you were, say, her special someone? That was plenty outrageous. Oh, Kene. Donna de Otska de Kaorizan Torita. Well, it's, it's not really like that. <laughs> it took a lot of effort to keep myself from lying and fueling the fire. Oh, Haruaki. Ah, yeah, so no Kami Fujiyoshi no Higuchi san to you hito no sashi's de. Hmm. Takumi she became apathetic. Ah, so not a shkatane, no. Yeah, ano. They kill that is soto no shigotomo conaserio ni narimas. Ah, Kokoronga keva ina. しばらくは様子見しとけ。余計な仕事させたとか、上からイチャモンつけられたらかなわねえ。ふん。え上の人たちは、こっちの人間がどう働くかまで気にしてるんですか I was gonna say, that seems like a, quite a, a level of micromanagement. I, I'm not sure I was expecting. ねえよ。あいつらはただ、俺らがいつでも連中の言うことを聞くようにしておきたいだけだ。Okay, fair enough. De, nani at tenda mina de Kaori san wa Nanda ka kisha san no kuruma ga koareta to ka de Awatete den wa si ni itta wa yo. Ah? So ria nani da na? Renchu kaeren no ga? Sayaku, kyo no uchi ni wa naora nai koto mo kangaeta ho ga in ja nai de shou ka. Hmm. Iya da ne. This was getting nowhere. I don't have a hair to cover nine the soca. What a casino. Juni Narino. Anoi can duck it is. We must summer. Genson no yo, Kono Hitoni, Casaretan this kind. Genson, huh? Genson. Hm. Hi. Stoga Sumanito. はい。上松様を手ごめにする場にしちゃいかんからね。上松様は。それは恐れ多い方なんだからねはあああえそういう関係<笑> It'd be somewhat impressive, wouldn't it? Very quick <笑>えー 100% 誤解なんですがそろそろ既成事実として捏造されかかってるので本気でやめていただきたいなぁと脱線しましたがどうするんです Well, why can't we give him the place where we were in the、uh, last route? I'd have liked it if I, the newbie, didn't have to be the one making this conversation progress. Progress. Excuse me. Ah, shojiki. I'm my yosomono yasmizni tomernoa. Otanai no tamengi narane toa omotte kedo. Bajan, I tell Koyatoka nekana. メイコちゃんに出したのが最後よね。他はみんな穴開いたり壁抜けたりで、物意味もできやせんわよ。ワイヤー、there was room in the dorm。あの、hey here's our girl。oh。ちえみ、寝すぎじゃねえか。おやっさんの手伝いしてやってくれよ。ああ、ごめんごめん。ちょっと向こうで寝坊の習慣ついちゃってさところでタイバーちゃん部屋だったら寮の部屋が一つ空いてますけど Yes Girl comes in for the rescue ちいちゃんね
知っとるでしょうあそこは昔吉光さんが四家の皆皆様に駆けようってできた場所よよしみつ I think that's another new name 先のあるコラだけでも上富士吉に近い綺麗な家に住ませたい言うてそれで坂をコンクリートで階段にしてああ<笑>昔話始まっちゃったまあ不採子だっけか安水ってのはなんとなくこんな場所だよ I already knew なんつうか治るといいな車 This was bad. Hmm. Just as expected, the road service would take a long time to get here. They'd be here somewhere in the middle of the night if they could, if they tried to come right away. The mountain road was even more dangerous at night, so they agreed on the service coming in the early morning, which led us back to the talks about where they say. Though by the time the discussion was over, Yamawaki san, who was done talking, had left. She really gave us outsiders the cold shoulder, huh? Takumi san tried suggesting they stay in their van, and I was surprised to hear they were receptive to the idea. Them being a man and a woman was one thing, but I was more concerned if that van had enough space for someone that huge and another person to lie down. Still, it looked like they were about to agree to just leave it at that, but that was no good. They wouldn't survive the night like that. So far, the only people I hadn't met were the students who were in school Kanzo Makashima san, who was out hunting since morning, and the old man who cried wolf. Since I'd met just about everyone, I chose to take my leave. It wouldn't have been natural if I'd tried to talk them out of that. I had to get places for them, but my only option was one I didn't have much faith in. Anyway, doorbell. ああ、新山の。何の用かね。実はちょっと、長者でらっしゃる野里さんに伺いたいことが。いい心がけだがね。あまり板につかぬ提灯持ちは、見ていて心よいものではない。分相応の振る舞いをしてはどうかね。Was my politeness that insincere? おみそれしました。それで、要件なのですが。ふん近々霧が出るというのは本当なのでしょうか Oh my goodness What's the strategy here, huh? The effect of my words had a The effect my words had on Kinosuke Shi was impressive He tried to act calm, but his wandering eyes made it clear he wasn't なんだそれはどこから聞いたのかね来ていきなり迷信を吹き込んだのは誰だ一体上松さんが話してくださいました。He fell silent. The guy was easy to read. 霧がうんぬん言ったのは他の方です。僕は樋口昌司さんという方に勧められてここに来たんですが。なんだ昌司か。私の一つ下だ。やつがどうしたと。い,いえ、聞き間違いかもしれませんが。じきに霧が出るかもとおっしゃっていたような気がするのですが、no、words, だけど上松さんがさっき霧が出たらいろいろしなきゃならないっておっしゃってて今休水で車がパンクして足止めを食らってる人たちとかどうするのかなと思いまして何そんなことになっているのかね面倒なことだはいちなみにどう思われますか安水集落において初夏に濃密な霧が立ち込めることは10年や20年に一度あることだうんテケル2時期的に見ればまあありうるかしかしそれの予測ができるほど目立った兆候があるとは聞いておらんよそうかちなみに何か危ないんです皆さんちょっと緊張してるみたいで。ノームが出ると
必ず安水で死人が出るからな。Always. My goodness. So, so beyond the whole feasting thing, you're just saying. Wow, okay. Was that an okay thing to say? Oh, yeah. Go kai send them, Yoroshi. Kono no mu to you know, Kimi no sozo suriori mo haruka ni koku. Sky wa zero ni naruto kiku. I knew that, but yeah, I couldn't have imagined miss that dance unless I saw them for myself. Yo te kiri ga te teiru aida wa kinshin suru narai to nat teiru ga. Baka na renchu ga gai hitsu shite wa tenraku shiko nado okoshi teiru no da yo. Okay, I get what you're saying, but the way you phrased it at first was a bit off. Naru hodo. Koko kara skoshi hanareta horaku shiko genba wa mita kane. Are wa uchi no iye ga uke otta koji nan da ga. あれも霧のせいで死人が出たまったくとっとと引き上げさせればよかったものを発注者の言い分はいかにも強引で、uh, I felt stupid forever considering crazy theories about some Saranaga illness That mist was dangerous in and of itself and that made for a good official reason to stay indoors when it came He seemed to believe the official reason and thought I wouldn't kill him If he actually knew about the true dangers lurking in the mist, he'd do everything he could to leave Yasumizu. He was a family head, but he didn't seem to know all the secrets. She, on the other hand, must have known something. I'd love to find out more, but. Hmm. Hold on. He just told me something weird. The mists led to. On site deaths. Yeah, didn't Takumi mention that? Having to toss some bodies into the Saranaga? Ueno dosha kuzure no genba mitaka. Aria hachine mai ni nozato ga te ire tara kuzure te, so no man mani natteru. Yeah, that. Kimi wa rungatte katazuke mo shiangara ne. Sanyo in no shitai wa, ore ga hori dashte umeta. Oh, just burying him, not,、uh, not throwing him in the Saranaga. Yeah, I was told that Takumi san buried the bodies. But if it happened in the mist during a feast of the Yomi purge, did that mean he should have been present during the feast? From what I could tell, last time the mist scared the people here and drove them to panic. Kanzo Makashima, she hadn't reacted like that. Well, the old wolf guy had said the wolves were coming. It was likely they'd experienced the feast before. But I didn't know what had happened to the other people or what I'd even do with that information.、Mm. One thing I could say was that the survivors either killed or silently approved of killing people. Shemi could be one of them. And so could the students. Even if I couldn't connect all the dots, it was entirely possible. I had to keep myself together. I think we'll call it here. This might be a bit of an awkward time to stop, but I'm kind of getting to my time. It's also very late and I'm very tired, so I'm gonna end right here.、Um, I need to read this again. Maybe, maybe tomorrow when I'm awake and. Not too tired because I don't think I understand this.、Uh, from what I could tell last time, the m i s c a r e d people here. So, is he saying. That Chami, the students, Kanzo, you know, all the rest. Is he saying they must have participated in, a in, the, in this whole feast thing before? And so. Huh. I thought that wasn't the case. I thought it was the case that. 
this was a first for a lot of people. Like, even for some of the older folks. I'm not sure I understand this. Um, but yes, if, if those on-site deaths were caused by mist, and Takumi was there for that, then certainly yes. Um... I guess that's what that means. If you're, if you have an Id a better idea about what this means exactly, this, these last few lines here, and want to give your idea or interpretation, could you let me know what what, is, what exactly is being said here by Haruaki? My assumption is he's thinking that. What would it be that? They all participated in the feast before, and thus... Some of them might be killers or approve of killing, is that what he's saying? I guess that is. I guess that, that's what I'm going. I'm gonna. I am. It's as as I've just said. It's late, so I'm gonna sleep, and then I might check this again tomorrow, just so, so I can read it while I'm fresh. Okay, I've been the warm. This has been Raging Loop. Uh, we're making some good progress. We're in, running into a bit of a roadblock now, but hopefully we shall overcome it with our guile. Okay. Hope you're all doing well. See you next time.